our hotel room this day in Provence is coming uh, to an end. It is almost evening right now. We managed to relax a little bit next to the pool and then it became cold there for me. So I went home, I put on some comfy loungewear. This is my Abercrombie and Fitch hoodie and um and pants set it is very comfy i love it really and the quality is really nice by the way i have this set for for how long do i have it three years i think and it feels like new the day in uh, provence was very good but at the same time not everything happened the way that i wanted it to not everything not all of the places met my expectations so that is my first time ever in this part of provence because french riviera is part is a part of provence as well and i've been to french riviera man, many times i lived there and here this part of provence is uh, the place that i don't know well that is my first time here and i had so many expectations to it uh, everything because of peter mail's books uh, and just the movies uh, the vlogs of other people i really expected really a lot from this uh, region the first impressions that we got were from paradu and from bistro uh, le bistro du paradu and it's hard to beat those ex uh, those impressions later because that was absolutely fantastic. The uh, village of Paradou is super cute. And after that, after Paradou, I really expected that most things in Provence are going to be that perfect, but it is it can't be like this, obviously. So uh, the our village of Mazan, where we are staying. There is nothing really to see here. It didn't really impress us, but our hotel, I think it is beautiful. I think it has beautiful territory. I think it has really nice um, activities ready for you. These are not like active activities, but it has a swimming pool where you can relax. It has a petang place. It has lots of lounge chairs around the territory. It has a good restaurant. Like the restaurant of our hotel has really good reviews online. But apart from this, Mazan village for us is not impressive. Then we went to Carpentra this morning where we had our breakfast, where we went to Boulangerie. And uh, we didn't really see anything uh, catchy for us in Carpentra. Then we went to Gigonda and I think Gigonda was nice. We didn't, uh, we didn't take time to walk around a lot in the village of Gigonda, but I really liked uh, the vineyards surrounding the Gigonda village. I really liked the atmosphere. All of the houses there are very old, but the streets look clean and nice. There are plenty of places where you can try the wines and buy the, uh, buy the wines. I chose uh, Cavo du Gigonda, I think that is the name where we went, just because I've seen it, um, I've seen it online. I've seen it on YouTube. People go in there, and uh, it looked nice from those videos. So we went there, and uh, that was it in Gigonda. I saw that there was a hiking trail in Gigonda, going somewhere up the hill. There were lots of hikers going up there. We were not prepared for a hike, and we didn't, we didn't do it. We went uh, in our car and drove straight to Senang Abbey. As you've seen, we were going there to see the, its lavender fields and the abbey itself. Unfortunately, it is already too late to see the lavender fields. So if you want to see the lavender fields, you should come early in summer, earlier in summer. But the abbey looked really stunning and impressive. I didn't regret us going there, not at all. And also, I really liked the roads uh, that we took to drive uh, to Senang Abbey. There is only one road to go there, so you will, you're not gonna miss it if you go there. And it was really picturesque, really beautiful scenery, and it wasn't scary like some mountain roads can be. And by there, the shop that we visited uh, in the Abbey is really cool. It is big, it has lots of stuff. I really love bringing this kind of 
souvenirs, this kind of mem memorabilia from uh, the trips. Uh, so the monks that live in the Senang Abbey, they use their lavender that they grow on their fields in order to create products that they sell in their gift shop. And as you've seen in the, in the video, I couldn't help myself. I wanted to buy way too many stuff. And I wanna show you what I bought. So the first thing that I got is uh, the lavender honey. I have never tried lavender honey before, but I felt like right now was exactly the time to try lavender honey. I went for a plastic packaging because it is just for me. It's not a gift. It, I'm okay with plastic packaging, but there was also more beautiful glass packaging if you want to get lavender honey for a gift. Then I got their hand cream with lavender essential oils from Sinang. Uh, from Sinang Fields, enriched with shea butter. Here's the packaging of the of the hand cream. Then I also got uh, the shower gel. I used to have a lavender shower gel from Provence five years ago, and I really loved it. It had a, a really rich scent, really nice, and it, it wasn't. It was nothing like the lavender scent you would get in Bath and Body Works or in some mass market brands. It was, it felt like real lavender. So I had to get uh, myself a, a shower gel from Provence with lavender. So this is um, Abai Notre Dame de Senang, Senang Abbey shower gel lavand with uh, essential oils of lavand from, from here. Uh, so that is the shower gel. I got four bottles like this because I also want to give it as gifts. I feel like this is a very good gift. And then also I have a candle here. As a huge fan of candles, I just couldn't resist getting a candle for myself. Vegetable candle by Notre Dame de Senang Lavant, made in France. And the smell is quite strong. I really love when candles have strong smell. We got some little sachets like that. Um, I don't know how people use this kind of sachets here in France. But in Ukraine, we uh, get these little bags and we put them in our wardrobes and it prevents uh, the little insects from appearing in your wardrobe. I don't know the um, correct word in English for these little insects, but these are the flying bugs which can eat wool or they can eat your fur coats, clothes like that. And they are afraid of lavender scent. And if you have a scented bag of lavender inside of your wardrobe, those little bugs are just gonna fly away or they're just not gonna live there, gonna die. Well, that is that is a well-known fact in our country. Maybe in France they don't use it for this. Maybe they just use it for having a nice scent in their wardrobes, cupboards and everywhere. Anyway, it smells wonderfully. So that was it that we bought in the gift shop. I really love shopping, shopping there. That is a really something special and these are the things that I'm going to use through the year on the cold uh, snowy days and remember our wonderful lovely vacation. And so after this Senang Abbey we went to the town of Gort uh, and the town was really crowded, there were so many people there, parkings were full, but I still felt that the, the town is cute, the village is beautiful, I think it is worth the visit but maybe when uh, it is not August, not the touristic season, uh, it's going to be better. Today we didn't enjoy it as much as possible because of the weather. The wind, as I said, the wind was crazy. So we just ate our food quickly and left uh, the village. Uh, up in the mountains, the wind was absolutely crazy. Then we went to Lille sur les Sorges, I think the name of the town was. And that one, I think it is like a best, they say that they that is the best uh, town in Provence if you are interested in antique stuff, in antique furniture, antique decor, that is the place to be. They have really lots of shops of antique furniture, they had huge antique markets, we've seen them all. 
and uh, that is a place for you if you if you are interested in that we are not into antique furniture so we didn't go to see those places we wanted just to see the town uh, they have a canal going through the town which makes uh, the town uh, special we walked around the old uh, the old town streets they had lots of souvenir shops lots of restaurants so that was our time in Lille sur la Sorge and we had some desserts there we found um, a boulangerie not far from our parking where we parked uh, by there by the way we parked in um, U supermarket U is a very famous like supermarket chain in France and we parked there we paid one one euro fifty I think uh, for a little bit more than one hour of staying there and well after having some desserts a coffee we got in our car and drove back to our hotel overall that was a nice nice day in Provence but I can't say that the villages that we have seen today were as good as Bistro du Paradou and Paradou I don't know it's hard to explain for me Paradou was the cutest one and for now i know that if in the future we want to come to come back to provence the place where i actually really want to go is paradou and bistro du paradou other towns i'm not sure yet if i want to go there again and well tomorrow i think on our way to the french riviera we will discover a little bit more of provence I want to go to Lourmaran and maybe to Aksan Provence. We will see tomorrow uh, what is going to be the plan. We will wake up and decide. For now, these are the two spots that I think I still want to see during this trip. Anyway, Provence is a really relaxing place, a place where it is good to have a vacation when you just want to be far away from the world and enjoy delicious food, enjoy the sunshine, drink wonderful wines. So that was it of today. I think I'm going to go have a shower, prepare a tea for myself, uh, drink it before going to bed and then sleep and then I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today is a sunny day here in Provence and I think it is going to be a day of really good weather. We are getting in the car right now, putting all our luggage in it, checking out from our hotel here in Provence, from Chateau Mazan, and we will be driving towards French Riviera, but on our way, I want us to stop in Lourmaran, in a village, to have breakfast, and then I want to stop in Aixan Provence in order to discover this city and to uh, have lunch there so those will be two stops of today both uh, places are, uh, we will be visiting for the first time so I have expectations about them I'm really excited so getting in the car ready to go right from Domazan right it was really a pleasure to stay here it was really nice beautiful village called Lourmaran here in Provence. We already had breakfast here. There were just two boulangeries in the whole village. One was really small and another one was bigger and better. We went to the bigger one. The croissants were hot, crispy, soft in the middle, really, really delicious. Now we're gonna walk through the village and get in the car and head to Aixan Provence.
I think behind me is Chateau uh, of Lourmaran. I uh, am not sure what they have inside there right now. I think it is a museum, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I really like the feeling of the whole village of Lourmaran. It is really calm. It is not too touristy. Uh, really full of French charm. It is what you would expect from Provence. Really nice. quite a big town, even a city maybe. It uh, is uh, definitely in the style of other Provence places, uh, full of old houses, really cute French style. We have just arrived, so we have still lots of things to discover. The, this fountain is the first thing that we saw. It looks like uh, one of the main squares here in Action Provence. And now we're gonna head to other streets. By the way, today I'm wearing a dress which is from Hill House Home. Uh, this is called an uh, Ellie dress. This is from this year's collection. Uh, my shoes are the slides of Toy Birch, the Prada bag that I usually wear. Uh, my hat is from Stradivarius from many years ago. And my jeans uh, coat jacket is from Sandro from three years ago. Let's go! we came to have lunch the restaurant looked really attractive and its name is I think is Jacques Le Coquillon and uh, we uh, got in we ordered Magre de Canard which is the duck breast uh, cooked in French way under the uh, mushroom sauce and we also were got the uh, roasted chicken under the mushroom sauce as well everything looks really good for now I'm very happy that we came to this restaurant gonna try my meal right now. Bon appétit! Mm. That is good. We have just finished our meal here in Jacques Le Croquant. We really liked everything. Surprisingly, this restaurant was really good. I loved both the duck and the chicken. The sauces were amazing. They had a special way of uh, cooking the potatoes. We really liked everything. The service is super nice. I believe it is a family restaurant because you can see the whole family uh, who served us on the photos in the restaurant. Really nice place. That is the way it looks from the outside. That is the restaurant I recommend in Aix uh, and Provence. like the very center of Accent Provence. It is tidy, it is beautiful, it has French charm. I really like it. I don't know what is in the suburbs, but the style of the houses here in the center is really nice. All the windows are so cute, all the balconies. I really like it. 